The draw drop down menu in DCAD, of course, contains links to all of the drawing primitives. You find the line command, you can click it here and start it there. You can also start it from the command area and use the shortcut L for line. So we can start the line command there, start drawing our line at any angle. If tracking is on, you'll notice there's a beige indicator showing uh, 45 degrees or horizontally across or vertically up just as you swing your pointer to, to close the end of the line. The array is a line that starts from one point and just extends out in an infinite direction and is drawn with whatever happens to be the current line type associated with that particular layer. And if I zoom in here, if I've got my line type scales right, you may have seen that that was a complex line. We'll stay on that layer. A construction line is similar except that it runs out to the infinitely to the edge of the drawing and used for obvious reasons as a construction. You can snap to it and snap other entities to it. A multi-line enables you to draw complex lines like uh, you could draw a wall um, with a, a double brick wall. A polyline enables you to draw a flexible line. Let's zoom out a little bit and find some space. So a polyline is a flexible line. When we hit enter and select it, it's got a number of vertices. We can move those vertices around and change the shape. We can right click and go to properties and change the layer or change the type of curve fitting that is used to uh, to draw that line. A rectangle is pretty obvious. It draws a rectangle as you would expect. You can give, we'll show you later, you can give it the corner of the rectangle coordinates. An arc, lots of different ways of drawing an arc. Let's take a three point arc as the obvious example. There is a three point arc. A circle can be drawn in a number of ways. A spline is a, uh, a, if you like, a bendable curving line which is useful for denoting, say, flexible garden beds in some sort of um, landscape plan for the sake of argument. Uh, and ellipse has a, a long axis and a short axis to define the ellipse. Point puts a single point in the drawing. Text can be put in as multi-line text, single line text. The hatch command puts hatching in dots, crosses or whatever. You can create a block, insert a block or define attributes 